In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who, crowned with the gift of true faith, St. Elizabeth and Seton's burning zeal to find you, grant by her intercession and example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit whom he gave us. Beloved, do not trust every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they belong to God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can know the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges Jesus Christ come in the flesh belongs to God. And every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus does not belong to God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, who, as you heard, is to come, but in fact is already in the world. You belong to God, children, and you have conquered them, for the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They belong to the world. Accordingly, their teaching belongs to the world and the world listens to them. We belong to God, and anyone who knows God listens to us, while anyone who does not belong to God refuses to hear us. This is how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of deceit. The word of the Lord. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice before him with trembling. Rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that what had been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sit <coughs> in darkness have seen a great light. 
On those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus <clears throat> began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in, the, in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness among the people. His fame spread to all of Syria, and they brought to him all who were sick with various diseases and racked with pain. Those who were possessed lunatics and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we ask that you look graciously upon our gifts placed on your altar in celebration of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and grant by the power at work in this sacrifice that we may be more deeply inserted into the mystery of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, is assisting Bishop George and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Holy See recently issued a document in which it was clarified that the diocesan bishop has the authority to give provisional norms in times of difficulty, such as wars and pandemics, which must be obeyed. Cardinal Bernardo is requiring that in all ordinary four masses, Holy Communion is only to be received by the faithful in the hand during the time of the pandemic. He also requires that the faithful are to be instructed on how to reverently present themselves for and how to consume Holy Communion when our Eucharistic Lord is received in the hand. Please carefully follow these instructions on proper reception of the Holy Eucharist. Parents are asked to coach your communion-age children in these instructions. Catholics in good standing who wish to present themselves for Holy Communion are to approach a communion rail with your mask on by way of the center aisle only. Kneel down at the communion rail. As a priest or deacon approaches, please remove your mask completely off your ears, face, and neck to avoid any risk of the mask coming into contact with and profaning the Blessed Sacrament. Extend your clean, bare, and uncovered hands with your palms facing up and fingers together. Be sure the host or particles of the host cannot slip through your fingers. Extend your hands high enough above the surface of the communion rail to allow the communion plate to be placed under your hands so as to catch a blessed sacrament in case of any mishaps. The dominant hand open and underneath the non-dominant hand with the non-dominant hand above slightly cupped and resting on the palm of the dominant hand. The communicant should never reach out to take the Eucharist from the minister with their fingers, nor should they present their open hands side by side. Neither should they present one open hand without the dominant hand uh, underneath. The communicant should never receive the consecrated host into a pit or any other container. After having received the Eucharist in the palm of the hand, the communicant, using the dominant hand's thumb and index finger reverently, takes the sacred host from the palm of the non-dominant hand and places our Lord on their tongue to consume him immediately while in front of the priest or deacon before standing up and turning to walk away. Never flip the host in your hand or flip the host from one hand to the other side by side. Never break the host before placing our Lord in your mouth. Do not break the host in half in your teeth. Never give the host or a fragment of the Eucharistic Lord to someone else. Never walk off with an unconsumed host. Before getting up from the communion rail, be sure to scrupulously check the palms and fingertips of your hands and consume any particles that may have adhered to your hands while handling the Eucharistic Lord. In the undesirable event <coughs> that the minister perceives that the communicant is presenting a serious risk of profaning the Blessed Sacrament and Holy Communion may be withheld until such time as the communicant removes the risk of profanation by conforming to these instructions. Such an action should not be interpreted as punitive. It would be an act of charity necessary to preserve the integrity of the Most Holy Eucharist and to heighten the communicant's faith in and docility to the Eucharistic mystery.
Let us pray. As we partake of the sacrament of our salvation, while recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that we may be inflamed with a burning desire for the heavenly table, and by its power consecrate our life faithfully to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince, St. Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Host, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King and our Admirable Conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Father, I abandon myself in your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I'm ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, O Lord. In your hands, I commend my soul. I offer it to you with all the love of my heart, for I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself, to surrender myself into your hands without reserve and with boundless confidence. For you are my Father. Prayer in time of epidemic. Deal not with us, Lord, according to our sins, and take not vengeance on us because of our misdeeds. Help us, O God, our Deliverer, and for thy name's sake, O Lord, free us. Remember not, O Lord, our sins of old. Hasten to us with thy compassion, for we are become exceeding poor. Saint Sebastian, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Thou safe to hear us, O God, our only salvation, and through the intercession of the glorious and blessed Mary, Mother of God and ever Virgin, of thy blessed martyr Sebastian, and of all the saints, deliver thy people from the terrors of thy wrath, and restore their confidence by the outpouring of thy compassion. Be moved to pity, O Lord, at our earnest entreaties, and heal the illnesses of body and soul, so that experiencing thy forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in thy blessing. We beseech thee, O Lord, grant us a hearing as we devoutly raise our petitions to thee, and graciously turn away the epidemic of plague which afflicts us, so that mortal hearts may recognize that these scourges proceed from thine indignation, and cease only when thou art moved to mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who lives and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.